2016, pursuant to the Texas Election Code, Section 3.004. Action may include acceptance of the general election order for the 2016 general election. Mr. Brewer, <coughs> would you like to make your comments? Okay. Bob Brewer, 1800 to Charles. Uh, thanks again, and I hate to be a broken record, but it just seems like we've got a lot of things of concern that we need to keep an eye on, and you guys can make a difference. Uh, what I'd like to uh, speak on is uh, election integrity with our elections administrator, our secretary of state, and his designate E. Uh, there are legislative laws that have been passed that are being exempted by an elected bureaucrat that has no business overruling the will of the people and our le the laws that have been passed by our legislature. Specifically, I would like to see that our elections administrator, and I've asked for this several times, but I haven't followed up, so it's probably my fault, to retain ballot images of every ballot cast they're supposed to have serial numbers on them. Uh, also, at every precinct where voting takes place every day, there's a tally tape that needs to be retained and signed by the person in charge at that, uh, at that uh, voting place. And anyway, the election codes are all section 12801, 213.016. 66.022, 66.024, and section 611. So anyway, those are the pertinent numbers on the laws that are, are being violated. There's a presentation tonight in Forney, and I'll be broadcasting it on my Twitter thing, Political Brew. Senator Hall is going to be there, Senator Huffines, uh, Laura Presley, who sort of added this thing here recently, and even President Obama made a comment on the Texas stuff, and I'm sure he was talking about her. And then there's also uh, Aaron, somebody or other, that uh, uncovered the uh, 1,800 votes in excess of the number of people that voted in Corsicana for Byron Cook's state representative seat. When everybody went to bed, Thomas McNutt with the Corsicana Bakery was 2% ahead. And when everybody woke up in the morning, 1,800 ballots showed up that were not registered, and he won the election. So anyway, there's a, there's a problem even among Republicans in Texas. So if you guys can guarantee me that our election administrator can provide the paperwork at, during elections and after elections. I'd appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Brewer. Thank you, Mr. Brewer. Ms. Nelson. Good morning. Um, this is just a standard call to order for the uh, general election. The state requires that the county judge call this election, so that's the paperwork for that. Thank you. Are there any questions?